What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chad. And today you will learn how to create basic book template in InDesign. You'll also learn how to set suitable page sizes and margins for paperback and hardback books. And uh, you will learn how to create simple master pages for maintaining consistency throughout your book and how to define page numbering sections. So this tutorial covers how to create the inside pages of a book for print. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, I have a Patreon page and it's got a lot of printables like planners, journals, stickers, Lightroom presets, calendars, trackers, and so much more, including the ones in my videos. And you can get access to all this stuff by becoming a patron. All right, time to create that book. And by the way, I am using Adobe InDesign 2021. And if you have an older version, not to worry, there are some slight differences like where the tools or buttons are located, but it's not that difficult to find. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So first things first, how does InDesign help you to create a book? Before you go to create a new document in InDesign, you should know that InDesign offers you a really useful feature for creating long book documents. These are called book files. So a book file is a collection of documents grouped together to form a whole book. You can share styles across the documents within the book and the numbering sequence will continue from one document to the next. You can also make edits to your book more quickly and easily when you work from a book file. Instead of opening a single large file with a high number of pages, you can simply bring up the section or chapter you would like to edit. So let's start by creating our own book file. So open InDesign and go to File and then New and then book, you'll be prompted to give the book a name and save it. Now a small window will appear which is currently empty and you'll notice if you click the add documents or the plus icon that InDesign wants you to add an existing InDesign document to the book. So the next step is to create your first chapter or section which will then add to the book file. So let's just exit that. Next step is creating your first document. So first decide how your book will be divided up. If it's a long book, you may have split the text into chapters. If it's very long, you may have sections with chapters sitting within them. Your first task is to create a document which will feature the formatting styles you will be using across the whole book. And a good place to start is with the first chapter of your book. So save your introductory pages to do afterwards as they will have some unique formatting atypical to the chapters of the book. Say for example, we'll do a standard paperback a United States B format, which is 5.12 inches by 7.8 inches, or in millimeters, it's gonna be 130, 130 millimeters by 198 millimeters. So first go to file and then new and then document. And this will open the new document window and in ensure the intent is set to print. And then just click print here. Then set the number of pages to 10. You may know the number of pages your text will probably fill, but you can easily add or delete extra pages as you go and keep facing pages checked. Next up, click the icon that says saved document preset. It's going to be this one and we and we save it to custom list. This means you can reuse this size template for future documents by simply selecting it from the custom menu. So type the name in the preset details such as B paper back, then click save preset and you will find all your saved presets here in the saved window. This is the one that we just did. Now let's continue. Set the width to 130 mm or that's going to be 5.12 inches and then for the height 198 mm or 7.8 inches. Now we set the margins and bleeds. For the margins, if you look at an example of a paperback book, you'll notice that the inside margin, example the margin which sits against the bind of the book, will be a little more generous than the outside margin. This is to allow for a few millimeters of, of the page to be sucked into the binding and the fold created by the binding. For a glue bound, otherwise known as a perfect bound paperback, whatever the page size, allow an extra three millimeters on the inside margin. Now make sure that the constraint button is disabled. This one, just click on that one so, so it's disabled and set the margins for the top margin. It's going to be 15 millimeters. The bottom would be 20 millimeters and inside would be 18 millimeters and outside would be 15 millimeters. Okay, now that you have that, we can go to bleed and slugs. 
you can include a bleed if you have any pages in the book with content that will cross the edge of the page example colored pages or images that extend across the edge of the page. If you're producing a standard typeset paperback and white paper, you might not need one. So say for example, we have a bleed and again, disable the constraint and set the top bleed to five millimeters. The bottom would be five millimeters, inside would be zero and outside is five millimeters. You won't need a bleed on the inside edge and then just click create. So this is how it will look like. So this is your inside trim, and this is your inside margin, the purple one, and the red one outside is the edge of the outside bleed. So if you want a standard hardback, just set the width to 151 millimeters and the height to 233 millimeters, and the others are still the same, but the margin, the top would be 23 millimeters, the bottom would be 25 millimeters, the inside would be 25 millimeters, and the outside would be 20 millimeters. And for the bleed, the top, bottom, and outside would be 5 millimeters, and the inside would be zero. And just click create. Now you have to set up the document for your book, and you should create a set of master pages to carry common features. Now step three is creating a simple set of master pages for your book. Now that we have set up the first document for your book, you should create a set of master pages to carry common features such as page numbers and page headers across all the pages. So here we'll be working using the paperback document we set up earlier. And you can follow this same step for hardback as well. If you open the pages panel, this one here, and if you can see it, you can go window and pages. If you open the pages panel here, you'll notice at the top of the pages panel, there is a marked off section with a default master spread called aid master. Double click on the double page icon on the right hand side of the panel to bring up the A master on screen. Right click on the right page of A master to bring up a drop down menu and you should have both pages highlighted to show up the right menu before right clicking on it. And then select master options for a master and this will show up. Just rename the master, maybe start of chapter master and then click OK. So this will be the master spread applied to all pages which begin a chapter. Example, the text start halfway down the page and there will be a prominent chapter title. We will also need to create a second master spread for applying to all pages in the body of chapters. Example, the simple text field pages with page numbers and a running header at the top of each page. And in order to do this, click the top right of the pages panel to open the drop down menu and then click new master. In the new master window that appears, set the prefix to B, which is already there and name this as master body master and then click OK. Now you can edit the masters and then apply them to relevant pages. So on the start of chapter master, this one, just double click on that. So we're editing the right master you can insert pages at the bottom of each of these pages. So in order to create that, we need to create a text frame by clicking on this icon or just hit on letter T on your keyboard. And then we just need to stretch this centrally across the margins of the left hand side. And then we put it centered. Now from here, you can set your desired font size and centered orientation using the options available over here. Now I'll just remain it like that. Then go to type and insert special character markers and then current page number and this will appear as letter a on the master but will adapt to the given page number and the pages themselves and here's a tip you can also flank the page number with with decorative glyphs go to type and then glyphs to view the full section available to you in your chosen font so that to add like an extra flourish so we can add that and we can put that another one here like so. And now I have that one. So with your page number text frame selected, we can now copy and paste this onto the right hand page. And you can do this the usual way, the control and command C, or you can just hold the alt key while dragging it to the nether page. And then let's just align this so they're aligned together on the page. You may also want to mark out where you would like the chapter titles to sit on the page. So you can pull down guides from the uh, ruler from the top ruler. If you don't have this one, you can go to view and then uh, rulers and then show rulers and this will show up. So just drag this onto the master to mark where the text frame should sit. So for example, I want my chapter title to be here and this makes it extra easy to ensure you're always placing chapter titles in the same place each time. I'll just do that 
the other one. So apply the start of chapter master page to the first page of your document. Just simply click and drag the right hand page of the master icon, which is this one. It's highlighted and then drop it on top of page one icon in the section of the panel below. So if you see here, there's that one. So once you've done that, return to start of chapter master. Okay. And select both page text number frames at the bottom. Just highlight them and then command control C to copy and double click on the B master and then go to edit and paste in place. Now it will put it in place or paste it in place as the master A. And also you may want to insert running headers along the top of your pages too. And to do this, remain on the start of chapter master. So we go back to our A master and introduce two new text frames using the type tool. Just click on T and place this with matching formatting to your page numbers at the top of the left and right pages of the master. So we can put it this and have this as our title title. And let's just drag this again here, chapter. And to apply this master to the remaining nine pages in your document, you can either manually drag and drop the master icon onto pages in the pages panel, just like what we did before. Or you can also highlight the remaining pages and then and right click on it and then apply master to pages and apply master a to pages 2 to 10 and then just click OK. If you look at it. Here's your book title and your chapter. Everything has it. And step four, a brief note on numbering and sections. Sometimes you may want a very simple numbering arrangement for your book. The first page of your book will be page one and so on. But you may want to have sections each with their own numbering system. A common example of this is a book with an introductory page or pages listed in Roman numerals with page one only beginning from the first page of the first chapter. We'll set up an example here with our paperback document. Say we wanted to start a new section on page five of the document, which is this one, and number the first four pages in Roman numerals. So in the pages panel, this is the pages panel, click page one icon to select it. Then click this icon over here to bring up the drop down menu and then select numbering and section options to open a new window and check the start page numbering it. and then keep the value as one. And next to style, choose these are Roman numerals from the drop down menu, then click OK. And the whole document, as you can see here, has been renumbered in Roman numerals and also this here and here, if you're able to see that, they're in Roman numerals. Now click on page five, which is this one. And again, bring up the number and sections options over here and start page numbering. Click that. And as before, that's one over there. But for the styles, we select the first option and then click OK. And there you have it. An easy way of creating. If you can see that here, it's now changed to the original numbering. Simply repeat the process above to create more new sections throughout your book. Now step five is adding documents to your book file. But first, you have to save this and let's say let's save this sample tutorial chapter one and save that so now you've created your first chapter in your book you can add this to your book file so if the book file isn't already open just go to file and then open and navigate to the folder where it is saved and open as you would a normal document file so Click the add icon here or the plus icon and it will appear again. And this is your chapter one. There you go. And now you've created a simple book template in hardly any time at all. Well done. Now you can add more documents to your book file and you don't need to complete each document before you add it. Just set it to the same size and copy and paste the masters across to each new document. All right, now that you know the basics of creating a book, it'll be easier for you to create the rest of your books quicker than you can imagine. Maybe it takes a little bit more time in the beginning, but practice makes perfect, right? So did you find this video helpful? Share your comments below and love reading comments and replying to them. And if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share this on social media. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and gives me reasons to keep making these videos. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye.